So today we are listening to another uh, student who's practicing the IELTS 2 speaking test. And the topic today is to describe a movie that you would like to watch again, uh, what it was about, when and where you watched it, and why you would watch it again. The name of the movie I would like to check out again is Little Women. So this is a movie that I found on Netflix one year ago, but I didn't have the time to watch it until recently. Okay, great. So I like that the way she starts it. She says the name of the movie I would like to check out again is Little Women. So that's just another nice way of saying something she wants to watch again. So check out again is just a nice way to intro it. Um, that's a little bit different than the question. So great start. So I convinced my sister to watch it with me because the poster looks very mesmerizing and it seems that this is going to be a good movie and it was, luckily. So it didn't fail to meet our expectation. It was very clever and brilliant as well. Uh, and I like the way she said, I convinced my sister to watch it with me. Uh, that is great because sometimes we do have to convince our friends or our family to watch something with us. I also like uh, her words. She said that the poster looks very mesmerizing. That's a nice word too. And she used a good phrase. Um, she said, luckily, and that it didn't fail to meet our expectations and that it was very clever and brilliant as well. So this is a nice use to show off vocabulary. Um, one extra thing the student might want to do is after she says it was very clever and brilliant, she might give a short example of what she means by that. But the vocabulary is great, so this is just a small thing that she might want to consider for the future. Uh, in general, the plot of the movie is about four sisters who, um, you know, learn to become mature women in their life. And even though each girl in the movie had their own dream and passion, the main characters was bigger and more idealistic at her time. Uh, well, I think she longed for the world of equality between men and women, where women are free to speak, to raise their voice, and um, not commit to marriage as well. So, but but I think it because it was too modern, and so it stops her from realizing her true feelings for the boy next door, Laurie, until it was too late. Okay, this is very nice. A uh, nice flow here. She's talking about the main character is very idealistic. She longed for the world of equality between men and women. That's wonderful where women are free to speak or to raise their voice. This is a very small thing. Um, interesting, raise their voice. It can have this meaning as she used here, but often the first thing that people will think is shouting or yelling when you hear, don't raise your voice or raise your voice. So it has another meaning. So um, some alternatives that she might want to consider is you might want to say women um, speak up or speak out or speak freely or speak their minds. That's just another way to talk about it that might be more common. Sometimes I, f I, I can see myself in Cho because I like to control everything like her too but deep inside I was just a normal girl who, who is very soft and emotional. Um, okay. All right, that's very nice too. I like the way that this student um, added some extra information about herself. So she says that sometimes she can see Jo, um, herself in Jo, because she likes to control everything too, uh, but that she is just you know, a normal girl, it's very soft and emotional. I like that. So yeah, given those reasons, I, I suggest everyone to watch this movie and Okay, yes, so she has the ending here. 
She says, I suggest everyone to watch this movie. I would just make one minor change there. Um, maybe I suggest that everyone should watch this movie or I recommend this movie to everyone or I suggest everyone should watch this movie. Just a very small thing. I would definitely going to watch it again if I have time. Thank you. Okay. This is a lovely way to end it here. Um, one suggestion here too. So the student says, I would definitely going to watch it again if I have time. So I would make one minor adjustment there. Say, I would definitely watch it again, or I'm definitely going to watch it again, just to make it sound a little bit more natural. But overall, fantastic job. I like that this person draws upon their own um, personal ideas and their connection to the movie. So well done. Okay, so I would say in general, uh, this student should be extremely pleased uh, with their progress. This is a great uh, part two speaking test. Uh, the fluency, very nice. This student didn't struggle at all to keep the flow going, which is wonderful. Really shows off vocabulary very nicely. Um, the pronunciation is pretty easy for me to understand. Very good, good pronunciation. And grammar, this person knows their grammar, so it's not drawing my attention to it. So um, I think this person just needs to keep practicing doing what they're doing to build more confidence. Right, that, that it becomes second nature, that they just record on so many topics because the vocabulary is there, the fluency is there. Um, the only thing that might really impact this person is just getting nervous during the speaking test because when you have an examiner, people do get nervous. So just keep practicing and you'll do great.